Hey everybody, this is Dylan. If you've been following along, you know we're building an urban farm just down the street from my house here in Phoenix. And uh, we're finally ready to start building something. So until now, we've done the trenching, we've done the underground pipe for the aquaponics system put in the ground. We've covered it up. Uh, we've done grading so that our troughs will sit nice and flat and level. And uh, the next part we're gonna do is build these hoop houses. So that's gonna be the first component we actually build. And once the hoop houses are built, we'll build these troughs inside of the hoop houses. So the first thing we're gonna do is the hoop houses. They're gonna be eight, a little bit longer than the ones here in my backyard. They're gonna be around 40 feet long. And uh, it's a very simple system here that I've done. It's a ballasted system. And what that means is instead of pounding the fence post into the ground, I've secured it in these concrete blocks and then I've attached the hoop house to the, to the ballast. So the reason that I needed to do that here is because the ground is really rocky and it's hard to bang in the fence posts, you know, which should be probably a couple of feet in deep into the ground at least. So I couldn't do that. So we, I decided to try this ballasted system and it's worked out really great. One of the great things about it is we can move the whole hoop house anytime. So nothing's stuck in the ground. It's very easy to take apart and relocate. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing at the farm and uh, I'm gonna give you a closer look at what the components are in this ballast part because some of that we can prep here in my backyard before we take it over to the farm to put together. So let me show you how that looks. So here's a closer look at the hoop house itself. Um, all this is the hoops, these bent posts are just an inch and three-eighths uh, top rail fence posts and um, up here we've got a handy cross connector that's holding everything together. So it's very simple. Here's the ballast that I put together when I uh, built these last year. All it is is a, a standard 8816 concrete block like you can buy for a little over a dollar each at Home Depot. We've got an 18 inch piece of inch and 5 eighths fence post. This is a, a hook bolt, which I've installed in before we poured the concrete in here. I've, I used my hammer drill to punch through this block, install the hook bolt, and what that's used for is parachute line to hold down your uh, greenhouse plastic or your shade cloth or whatever. I didn't actually use them yet, I just used bricks as a temporary measure but at the farm I foresee that I will want to use these. So I am going to install those again and then up here all we've got is a two inch quarter 20 bolt uh, nut and a couple washers that are holding the hoop structure onto the ballasted structure. Okay and then at the bottom of this or midway or so um, inside of this block I've got two holes punched in the fence post that I've shoved large nails in to really hold this thing in its concrete uh, mass here so that this would never pull out. It just gives it something to hold on to in both directions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop down my six foot lengths of this fence post down to 18 inch lengths and then I'll use my drill press to punch a few holes in it. <laughs> All right, so we've cut all of our uh, posts that are gonna sit in our concrete block just like this. And now we're gonna punch, uh, use the drill press to punch some holes so that we can create this. And here's a look at what these nails look like up close.
All right, so we're done all of our uh, 5 16 holes that were 90 degrees apart. So now we're gonna go up here and do the quarter inch hole, which is gonna hold the hoop house in with a two inch bolt. Two inch bolt's gonna go in here. We're gonna put a nut on there and it'll hold everything together. All right, so the next step of our prefabbing and getting everything ready to pour concrete is getting this hook put into this lock. And I'm gonna do it literally 144 times. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's just the hook bolt bolted onto this brick. So we've gotta drill a hole and put it together. All of our blocks are ready, all of our pipes are in place. I don't know how much concrete I'm gonna need. Obviously I have not bought enough yet, but uh, I'm gonna do a couple bags just by hand and do the math. And then I'll go to Home Depot this evening and pick up everything I need and I'll be ready to go for tomorrow. So let's do a couple bags. Where's the shovel? So I just did the math and it looks like I'm gonna need like 60 bags almost. 60, 80 pound bags of concrete. I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to be that much. I did this before in my backyard and I guess I just kind of forgot how many I could get. So, probably just end up buying that many bags, but I can't think of a cheaper way of doing it. That super sucks a lot. Definitely renting a mixer. 60 bags. Well, this is going to be a pretty long day. We're going to be mixing about 60 bags of concrete with this uh, mixer that I rented. Um, gonna be tough. Anyway, let's do this.
turns out these concrete mixers are not as easy to operate as it looks like they are on TV. day 60 bags of concrete and I have one brick left which means the wheelbarrow full that I accidentally poured onto the ground would have finished us off but now I'm gonna have to buy one more small bag of concrete just to finish the one up anyway the next task will be to set up all of our bricks right where they're gonna go for all the hoop houses and uh, so stay tuned for that thanks for watching talk to you soon